Shalom, Ka Hala, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Quidash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. This lesson is going to be centered around the word seer. Seer. It says, a person who is supposed to be able through supernatural insight to see what the future holds. And the only way to become a seer, you must be blessed from the Most High through Yahweh Shai to receive our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai's spirit. Revelation 19 and verse 10, it says, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant. Yes, and this is John of Patmos falling at the foot of the angel to worship the angel. And the angel told John of Patmos, I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And we have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. All right, which is the spirit of prophecy. Going back to the word. Seer. It says a person who is supposed to be able through supernatural insight, which is the spirit of prophecy to see what the future holds. Revelation 19 and 10, one more time. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see if thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So that's how you become a seer. All right? The scripture tells us in the book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1, verse 7, Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret, unto his servants, the prophets. So he gives his prophets the secrets through Yahweh Shah, St. John 15 and 15. It says, henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. So. The secrets are revealed unto us through Yahweh Shai from the Most High. That's the mercy of the Most High. That's how you become a seer, to receive Yahweh Shai's spirit. The word seer is just someone that says before, all right, or prophesies. The book of 1 Samuel. Chapter 9 and verse 9, it says, Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of the Most High, thus he spake, Come and let us go to the seer. For he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. So a person that has the spirit of Yahweh Shai in these times are called prophets. But before time in Israel, they was what? Called seers. Okay, going back to the definition again. Seer. It says a person who is supposed to be able through supernatural insight to see what the future holds. Okay, so that's what the prophet does. Prophesy. All right, which is putting forth a vision that hasn't happened yet. Meaning a futuristic vision. OK. And that happens through the light. All right. Which is the spirit also of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, the book of St. John, chapter one. And verse four, in him was life and that him is Yahweh Shah and the life was the light of men. OK. So that life that Yahweh Shah have given the seers is the light of them, which is the prophets, okay? The prophets of the nation of Israel, not any man, which is the elect. Verse 5, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Quick precept. The 
the book of Isaiah 9 and verse 2, the people that walked in darkness, and we was once those people that walked in darkness, meaning we didn't understand the truth of the matter, have seen a great light. All right, let's go back. St. John chapter 1 and verse 5, and the light shineth in the darkness, so we have seen that great light, those that once walked in darkness. It says, and the darkness comprehended it not. Let's look up this word comprehended because two-thirds of our people, Esau and the rest of the heathen nations, they are considered those that are continuing in the dark. Strong's G, 2638, Catalambano. Catalambano. And that's the Strong's G pronunciation of the word comprehensive. It says, to lay hold of. It says, to seize upon, take possession of. It says, to lay hold of with the mind. To understand, perceive, learn, comprehend. Them. So, those that was meant to dwell in the darkness or comes from the darkness, all right, they can't comprehend that light, which is to understand, okay, which is the light from Yahweh Shai. That's why they are not the prophets of the Lord, all right? That's why they haven't received the mercy from the Most High or the spirit of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. Because when that light was, was given unto them, due to a lack of faith, they couldn't comprehend it. The book of Hebrews 4, in verse 2, For unto us was the gospel preached, all right, as well as unto them. And that us are those that was capable of taking hold of that light with our minds, all right? It says, but the word preached did not profit them, meaning those that uh, did not comprehend the light, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So, they couldn't comprehend the message or believe the report because they didn't have faith from the beginning. All the prophets believe the report. That's why they can relay the light that they have received, all right, or reflect that light, being uh, the housers of that light or being able to house that light, all right, having good ground to house that seed, okay? But it all starts with faith, okay, and the spirit. Of prophecy, which is the spirit of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. That's how you become a seer or a prophet. Okay? The book of Isaiah, chapter 60, and verse 1, it says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come. See that? And the glory of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, is risen upon thee. The Most High will do nothing, but he reveal of his secret unto his servants, the prophets. That's the glory of the Lord that has risen upon us. Being able to house this light, to be able to see through the dark sayings of this book and relay them to the people. All right. It says, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people and darkness has covered the earth. All right. Esau, Edom's rulership and that darkness which is gross darkness, have covered the people, all right? People being the Israelite because they believe that they are everything except for the children of the Most High, all right? They believe in a false savior that looks like their oppressor. That's gross darkness. It says, but the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, shall arise upon thee, which is the prophets, and those that believe the words of the prophets, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. See that? It says, and the Gentiles shall come to thy light. And we was once those Gentiles. All right. Meaning what? We comprehended the light from the kings to the brightness of thy rising. Let's get the book of Proverbs 29 and verse 18. It says, where there is no vision. All right. How do you have vision? The light helps your vision, all right? It says the people perish. So that's why two-thirds of our people are going to perish 
all right? Because they're not following the light. They can't comprehend the light, all right? Neither can they understand this gospel or receive the words of prophecy. Why? Because they don't have that spirit. They're not capable of seeing, all right? So it says, where there is no vision, the people perish, two-thirds of our people. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he, all right? So that's the importance of having vision. You're going to uh, 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 prosper and not perish. And that's due to having the light. Once again, the light helps your vision. All right. That's the light that we have had. All right. In the past. Now it have returned unto us. And they're following people that don't have vision. Like these false leaders or self-proclaimed leaders of Israel, the book of Isaiah 56 and verse 10, it says his watchmen are blind. So in order to be a watchman, you're supposed to be able to see. All right. But the watchmen that Israel has selected, they're blind, meaning they can't see. It says they are all ignorant, meaning they can't see. They don't have any understanding. They don't know. It says they are all dumb dogs, meaning what? They cannot bark because a dog is a natural alarm system. And that's what a watchman is meant to do, to be an alarm system, to alarm you of the danger that's coming upon the dwelling. But these watchmen can't do that. It says sleeping, lying down, love, loving to slumber. See that? Meaning they can't see. All right. That's why vision is so important. The scripture also tells us in the book of 1 Samuel 3, in verse 1 it says, And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli, and the word of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, was precious in those days. Why? There was no open vision. And that's why the word also is still precious. Because this vision has not been open unto everybody. Okay? Only a small number has received the mercy from the Most High to receive that spirit of Yahweh Shah. See that? And that's being able to have vision, to have the healing of the eyes. That's the book of Revelation, chapter 3. And verse 18 tells us, it says, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich in white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. Okay? So those that have the spirit of prophecy, those that have seen the light, to enhance their vision, those that can say before, those that have the gift of faith, their eyes have been blessed or anointed with the eye salve, meaning what? Medicine for the eyes, all right? And that's the spirit of prophecy, okay, that they have received, that spiritual anointment to help the inner mind's eye, all right, to be able to foresee the future, all right, to be able to house that light, to receive that light, and to believe the report. All right? So, you know, Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying. Shalom. DTA.